Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to do a quick video here and this is just kind of something dumb I've been kind of messing around with. So I was watching a Randy Newberg video quite some time ago and uh, he recommended that you just take bottles, make ice bottles, water bottles, because uh, the more dense the ice is, the longer it will last instead of a bag of ice. Plus it'll save you some money. Uh, and if you put these inside of a high quality cooler, which you don't really have, uh, they last a very, very long time, stay cold. Now, another YouTube video that I saw, the guy recommended using a salt water inside. Uh, I kind of questioned that at first. I wasn't quite sure, but then it made sense to me. You know, I've hunted the Eastern Shore a lot, and a lot of times you get a nice cold night, drops down below freezing, and all the fresh water in, you know, all the fresh water inland would be frozen, have ice on it but where the salt water came in, it wasn't frozen. And I know salt water takes a, a colder temperature, I think, to freeze. So what I did here is I dumped in probably less than a quarter of the, a cup, I mean, a very small amount. I think I was timing it like six to eight seconds of dumping the salt in, nothing crazy. And then uh, I would add warm water, hot water, shake it up real good, let it cool down and then put it in the freezer. And I've used these a few times already. So it's much easier just to grab these bottles, throw them in your cooler or whatever and go. Now my question is, is I know this gets colder. I know for a fact that these ice bottles get colder than with salt, get colder than without salt. Uh, I, if I put three or four of these in a cooler with something else that's not very dense, for instance, I just had a, a bowl of rice uh, I made a big thing of rice to take with me, something I could just heat up, and it literally, I think there was four or five of these in a bigger cooler, uh, it literally froze the rice. If I put regular ice or a bag of ice in, the stuff stays cold, but it doesn't freeze. Uh, I've known that, and you guys can test that, so I, I've known that for a long time with using the salt. The salt tends to make stuff freeze if there's enough of it in there where it don't matter how much you put the rice inside a whole big bag of an 80 pound bag of ice it doesn't freeze it just gets really cold so my question is is which one lasts icy longer like which one stays frozen the longest so what i did is uh not yesterday morning but the morning before that i re stuck this one back in the freezer uh and i've been ripping the labels off and writing salt on them so i know exactly what they are my wife knows what they are before you know no mistakes but this one was a new one and i just filled this up with regular tap water put that in the freezer now this froze a lot faster than this one and this one is still there's still a bit of a, a little bit of water in there a little slushy uh this one's completely rock hard they've been in the freezer for the same amount of time now I want to take, you can see some moisture, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's moisture rolling around in there, where this one is actually starting to defrost from me touching it. So I've been holding them the same. So I just want to see which one is going to stay frozen longer. This expanded a lot more than this, I'm noticing. Like the cap on this one's pushing up where it's not here. Now that could have been the water level was just higher in here. I don't recall if they were exactly the same, but anyway. So basically what I'm going to do is just take these two and I'm just going to sit them here. Or actually, I'll put them somewhere, but they're going to stay inside this room. And I'm just going to see which one holds ice longer. So, you know, if that's something you guys are interested in doing, uh, like we're in the market here to get a chest freezer. I think as soon as she gets back, or a, a vertical freezer. And I'm just going to line the door, like two shelves on the door with these. And then when I run out the door to go hunt, I can just take these, throw them in my cooler, and I don't have to spend the money on ice and stop at the gas station or if I forget it, you know, it's just, it'll be super convenient just to, to keep using these. And I have two, three, four, five, six, seven here, nine, and then I have two or three still in the freezer. So, but I'm just going to let these go and see how long they go. And then, uh, you know, so I'll check them this time tomorrow, maybe, and uh, maybe later tonight, if I notice they're both gone, it is, oh, it's one o'clock exactly. One o'clock, so we'll see how long they go. All right, I'll check back in. All right, guys, I'm back at it here. So it is now, it's 10 minutes to six, so five hours. Uh, so I basically just, I ran out, did a little bit, had to get a new cell phone. 
old case, new cell phone, and started getting some reloading stuff together. And uh, yeah, so this came out to be what I thought. It seemed like this was the salt water. There's very little ice. Uh, maybe like, I don't know how to explain it. Smaller than a baseball, bigger than a golf ball, but kind of oblonged. <clears throat> this fresh water is still mostly all, I mean, it's probably at least half ice, if not more than half. So they've been sitting in the same exact spot right down below the camera here on a tote. I, I did have them on the wood, but I didn't treat this or do anything with this. So the water was getting on the wood. But anyway, so once again, what I was doing was making ice bottles to use instead of having to worry about buying ice. Uh, I've got like 10 or 12 of these, maybe, maybe more. Uh, and I was adding salt water in <clears throat> because it's actually slushing up already. But I was adding salt in because it, from what I, I read from some other guys, saw some other videos, the salt ice actually is colder than regular ice, which I've proved, proved that because I was actually able to freeze stuff in the cooler with the salt ice, where if you put regular ice in, it just gets really cold, it doesn't freeze. So, and then, like I said earlier in the video, uh, fresh water always freezes faster than salt water does. So I tried that, but what I noticed was the ice water bottles did not last very long. Uh, so in a regular, like a, probably a 50 or $80 cooler, it's just a, like a Coleman, nothing fancy. I would get a day, day and a half out of these and they were completely dead where this has been five hours sitting in the garage, same except right next to this one, and it's still got the bulk of it still ice. So I'm going to have to empty all these ones out that have salt, switch over. I'd rather keep the ice longer than worry about it being colder. So just a stupid video I figured I'd throw it together, but this is, I think, a pretty good idea. These are all over the place. I use a lot of them. I've always had them laying around job sites, guys getting them. So instead of wasting them, throw them away, uh, recycle or not, I just fill them up, put them in the freezer on the on the door, and then whenever I get ready to leave on a hunt, I throw some food in the cooler and I'll load a bunch of these in. <clears throat> so it just saves me from having to worry about going to get ice. But that's it, guys. So fresh water kind of beats out on the salt water. All right, thanks.